What's going on guys, it's No Slack Novak, and here's another episode of Sim Airport. Now this one is going to be very, very short. Uh, it's not going to be an actual let's play, it's going to be just kind of a rundown of what the plans are for our actual airport. Now the last one was a mess, as you guys saw a lot of people complaining. Few people actually said that they were going to like unsub from the channel because it was just a hot mess and all that stuff. So I want to put a lot of your guys' uh, minds at ease. I uh, am using the planning tool, which is something I should have been doing for the last couple episodes because they did do an update and we now have the planning tool where you have uh, you have four real colors to choose from so you can kind of use you know different colors for different things like right here I'm using the magenta for walls, I'm using the white for um, certain like lines, roads, um, the airplane gates, cyan here I'm using for like cues and stuff like that. Uh, the red here is for taxiways, which we're, you know, I haven't planned out uh, fully, but I, I'm kind of marking it out so I don't have the same mistakes like I did in episode 22. Now let me give you a brief rundown. So what's going to happen is we're going to have the two roads over here. They're going to come down, right? Uh, buses are going to drop off people over here. Uh, they're going to have a chance to uh, diverge from the main road. They're going to come over here and they're going to drop off our passengers. They're going to get back on the road, and then uh, they can come over here, and then they can pick up the passengers right here, get back on the road, and all of our uh, deliveries and our garbage trucks, uh, you know what, and I, I just noticed a little flaw in my system. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, and I'm hoping this works, I'm not 100% positive that this is going to work um, in the actual game, but uh, I think it will, I don't, I don't see a reason why I wouldn't. So what they're going to do here, the garbage trucks and deliveries, they're going to come down, they're going to diverge over here, and then they're going to go through our gate. So this is kind of like realistic here. This is the back of the airport. Passengers aren't going to see this area over here. So, and I like that because I think that's the way it should be. You don't, when you go uh, drive to an airport, you don't see where they, you know, deliver their stuff. You don't see where they dump their stuff. So they're going to go through the little secure area here. They're going to be able to drive up here and use the deliveries and the garbage down here. And then they'll come down and exit the map over here. I think that'll work. If not, we'll tweak it a little bit. We have a little room up here to the north where we can tweak that stuff. Now, that being said, let me show you what's going to happen. So they're going to get dropped off over here. This is going to be our ticketing area right here. Again, this is the queue. We're going to be able to have two desks here, two desks here for a total of eight desks. So two, four, six, eight. These are going to be our ticketing desks, right? Then we're going to be able to have offices for our COO and CFO over here. Then over here we'll be able to have a restroom for people that want to use the restroom before they actually go into the terminal. These little dots here are going to be our uh, ID check stands with security. We have our bag scanners over here. And then over here we're going to have the metal detectors. Once they go through security, they're going to go through the little walled off area over here and they're going to be in our terminal. Now as you can see this terminal is giant, absolutely huge. And I love that because uh, what we're going to do, and we could, and I don't think this is going to happen, but we could have some gates down here which, you know, now that I think about it, these are the smaller gates, that's not going to be able to happen. We could then use this wall and kind of push it in a little bit more, make this hallway a little bit smaller and maybe have some gates down here. Uh, that is a possibility, but main corridor for our terminal they're gonna turn up here and this blue here this is like where they're gonna have their little walkway they're gonna be able to walk down the center of the terminal yellow is the benches they're gonna be some seating areas not too much because I don't think they use it as much as I thought that they used it they're gonna have the ID check stands or the uh, the gate agents over here or you can always do you know one or two more at the gates and then the blue is gonna be the queues uh, these over here, this is going to be the extra large gates, and then this is going to be the taxiway leaving the gates. And as you can see, if I zoom out here, we have plenty of room on the map to do more. Uh, so I think we're going to be able to fit, let's see, one, two, three, four, probably four extra large gates. And then we'll be able to do a bunch of these smaller gates over here. And in the future, once we get to that point, we'll be able to do another one of these little extensions over here. Now. Uh, with this, uh, my plan is we're going to do most of the terminal area down here. And then we'll have an option to build the runways over here. I'm thinking we could probably do something like, um, let me go over here. I'm thinking what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to do one runway over here, something like this. Another one over here. 
but we might stagger it we might do like one over here one over here then we'll do another one actually okay so we'll probably have to do something like a straight one over here in this corner and then maybe we'll be able to do like one up here and then one over here or something like that just so that they could have I I, I kinda wanna do more than just two runways two might work um, somebody pointed out that Heathrow Airport only has two runways and it services something like 74 million people but I mean this is a video game this isn't Heathrow it's not completely simulation I'm thinking we'll probably want to have the three runways but I mean for you know we'll probably stick with two for a little while but that is the plan I'm not gonna waste your time with building this out right now that's gonna be saved for another episode probably tomorrow and keep in mind uh, I record most of these episodes when I uh, get home from work I'm very tired more tired than I'd like to be and a few of you are pointing out like hopefully you know like we'd like for him to upload later not so tired from work all that stuff I upload at around between 8 and 10 in the morning uh, Chicago time because that way you know the people in the US they can watch the videos before they go to work before they go to school and then the people in the UK can watch it once they get home from school or from work so that kinda seems to be like a very fair time for everyone for me to upload so I'm gonna continue to try to do that now I might I might just do it to where I record the episode a day ahead of time so like I'm recording now on Wednesday before I go to work and I might just you know record this and I might release this tomorrow morning so that that this is kind of you know Thursday's episode and that'll give me a chance to kind of catch up and be able to record these videos when I'm not so tired now that being said if you guys like these plans for the airport if you'd like to see me build this do me a favor hit the like button it would uh, let me know that this is something that you guys do want to see that you guys want to continue to see the sim airport videos on the channel subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that would mean a lot we're uh, almost at 7300 uh, I'm shooting for that 10,000 subscriber mark here by uh, April 20th hopefully I will get there I don't think we will but hopefully we'll get there and hopefully I'll see you guys on another one of my videos until then I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later bye